There you go. Good, live. Hi folks, welcome to our Thursday night, actually the last half of our Saturday night broadcast. This is halfway through our 21st Purple Heart Project class. We have seven combat wounded veterans here and seven civilian students. Farthest one away is from Hawaii. We are, we started Saturday, Sunday night, they come in and have a meet and greet barbecue. So we've been at it all day Monday, all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday, and we're still got a couple hours left on this Thursday class. We have Friday and Saturday to go. Today they're working on the walnut piece. So what we do in the class is we teach them on Wednesday how to prep a piece of rough lumber. So if you come over here, they'll take a, a piece of rough walnut, saw a piece off, then they've got to go using just scrub plane and a hand plane and they've got to process it. First thing we do is make this surface flat and smooth. Then they square and straighten an edge, make another edge square and parallel to that one. And then clean up the ends. Mark, use a marking gauge to go all the way around and then take this down to three quarters of an inch. We're going to use this piece that they worked on yesterday, actually yesterday and today. That's a piece of pine they've taken down to five eighths of an inch. And from these, they're going to make something called a bench hook. And there should be one right around that I can show you. Anybody see the bench hook? Yeah. Yep, there it is. Thank you. So there it is. It sits on your bench. This part catches the front. You hold your piece here. So when you saw, instead of sawing into your bench, you saw this becomes your sacrificial piece. If you knew how much effort went into it, you would never touch it with a saw, but that's beside the point. So what we're going to do is wander around, say hello to some folks, and uh, see how they're doing. If they show us. If you're just tuning in for the first time, this is how we raise funds to run our Purple Heart Project. Six times a year, 28 months from April to October, we run a program where we bring these guys in from all over the world far away as Australia, and uh, we cover all the costs, airfare, hotel, meals, actually, we now put them up right here on the premises, rooms for them. French Brigade, delivered to their home that they'd be able to call. So, at the end of the night, we're going to give away prizes. We give away about a $300 prize for every $1,000 that we raise, and those prizes are purchased from other compound events who have started businesses of various types. You'll see the stuff I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, honorary, honorable dignitaries that we have in our presence tonight. We have, we have uh, Dr. of Wood, Ken Anthony. Ken manages the production in our shop, all of our tool production. Right behind Jake, the cameraman, is Frick, who's looking like he's a little bit lost. Your mic's really choppy. My mic's really choppy. Maybe both. Two mics. Two mics are better than one. This, one of the vets has a service dog. And that's him. He's been wandering around all week. We have the famous Moose, purveyor of the dead cat sweater, not only. We actually went in, we took the guys in today to see Moose and his establishment at the city market. Check him out at patsecretgarden.com. All right. So if you just kind of get an overview, come back up into this corner, far back as you can get, and see what it is. So in this room, we have 14 desks, benches set up. I can't believe I called it a desk. 15 if you include mine. 16 if you include chips. Luther's. In the back are two washrooms and a quiet room known as Lucas's Lounge. That's for anybody that has a uh, need to lay down. A lot of these guys have had traumatic brain injuries, so they may need to take a bit of a break. In the far left corner, right corner, sorry, is our, is our uh, mess hall where we have all of our meals. And I must mention that the food is phenomenal. You'll hear that mentioned numerous times over. All right. Floor is dirty. We've been working. It'll get swept up when we're done. So I'm going to start over here. Is this working, Frick? Is the mic working? Just give me a heads up on that. 
I assume it is. Well, I don't want to assume and start handing it to him if it doesn't. Does the mic work? I guess we can't even tell. I'll get, I'll get Mia. I'm going to get Moose to say hello and see if it works. Hello. Yep, good, wonderful. Thank you, Moose. Nobody can do a hello like you. <laughs> this is Ruben. You have to hold that just so they can hear you. So my name is Ruben. Um, I'm from, originally from New York. Uh, I served in the Marine Corps. Uh, I was um, uh, informed about this program by Kevin Samira. He uh, attended this program in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, when was Kev here? 2017. 17. Uh, and he told me last year about this program. I had applied, I think, twice, and finally I'm, I'm here. You, where'd you, met, you met Kevin at a, an umpire's training or something? Yes. Baseball umpire? Yeah. Baseball umpire. Um, also for veterans. Program. Yeah. So we uh, umpire little league games for uh, school and recreational. Have you been warm since you got here? Warm? Warm. Oh, um, no. No. Well, <laughs> no. Maybe yes, in the evening, yes, but so not he, during the day. He, he was the first one to sleep in that room, and we didn't know how to set, we thought we knew how to set the uh, thermostat, and we didn't. He froze the first night, but we got it fixed. Okay, I want you to show me your, uh, I'll hold this while you do that. I want you to show me your best dovetail. Jake's going to come in close. Ooh, please. So how many have you cut before? Uh, zero. You cut zero. Oh, yes, zero. Have you done any woodwork before you showed up here on Sunday night? Oh, no, no. This, None? This was my first woodwork with a hammer and chisel and... Saw? Yes. All right, let's have, let's have a look. How many have you, how many have you done? Uh, I did. Uh, this is my first one. I was about to complete another one. Set. You got another one? You're going to um, put together tonight? I'm hoping, hoping I can finish this board. But this is the other one I have set up around here. Uh, I'm trying to work with this one. This is the one. Tell me what your experience is like using a, a sharp hand plane. My experience with a... How, how was it your first time you used a sharp hand plane? Um, it was difficult. Uh, I guess just having, uh, I've never used these tools before, so um, I kind of thought it was just like man roughing it, and it isn't. A lot of finesse, um, different, very different. But once you got it working, it was nice? Oh, yes. A little bit. I, I would say broken, but yes, yes. <laughs> Good exercise. Oh, yes, it is. Thank you. Thanks. Anybody say hello to? Uh, Everybody, everybody out there, the veterans, uh, everybody who's still active service, who's out there protecting us, thank you. All right, thank you, Ruben. We'll try to do, we'll try to do uh, veteran, civilian, veteran, civilian. So that means I gotta come back. So our next civilian is Chris, who's proudly wiping finish on his dovetail. Chris, you need to hold this just okay. so they can hear you. Okay, fairly close hey, how's to it so Chris, where are you from? I'm from St. George, Utah. And how did you mind? How did you find your way here? So I have been watching uh, your YouTube videos for years, and I have wanted to, to do something like this. And I finally, it was just the right time. My family supported it. It was just I'm so grateful for them supporting me while I'm, you know, while I'm here, and it's just been amazing. So, I just love it. So I've learned like just a tremendous amount of, you know. A tremendous amount of skills just to take my woodworking to the next level. Even though I just do it for a hobby and for fun, it's just so satisfying. So, so how many dovetails have you cut prior to coming? So I cut two prior to coming, and this is probably what two, four, six. Uh, so this is my uh, sixth one here. So can so. we have a can we have a real close look at yeah, this sure. one? Sure. So this is this is uh, part of a bench hook that he's done. Now just take a close look at that. Jake will really hone in. No pun intended. You can rate that. I'd rate that very highly. How's the food been? Oh, it's been spectacular. I I really didn't expect to be fed this well. We I actually expected to just lose weight since we were working so many hours throughout the day, and the food is, is just unbelievable. I mean, every single meal just keeps getting better. It's just awesome. They're so good. Glad you like so, it. Yeah. <laughs>
And oh, and, and Luther, and Luther, of course. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> he was the highlight of the whole yeah, trip. Yeah, you know what? If it wasn't for Luther, you know, yeah, it would yeah, be quiet. Yeah, 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 yeah it quiet. would be quiet. And <laughs> you know, you know, no, Luther is amazing. He's he's helped teach us so much. So, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. All right, now let's go back up. Who's this little guy? Good evening. Joe, I, you, you have to hold this just because they got to be able to hear you. Got it. This is Joe. And Joe is here because of? Uh, a friend of mine, Pete Curtin, actually sent me into this program. He's saying hi to Pete right now. I appreciate it, Pete, because this is uh, one thing that we discussed that is definitely helping. Um, I'm very grateful. Um, I'd like to thank everybody that allows us to do this. I thank Rob and his crew for everything that, that they do provide for us. Um, the class, I'm here to tell you, it provides you that out that you need if you're having some issues during uh, your lifetime frame. Don't forget the hockey. That's true. Um, I got to go and play hockey with um, Rob and his crew. They, they do a whole support thing with the PHP. Have jerseys. They do some very well advertising out here for this. I would say we had a good time, and uh, like usual, uh, individual from the states got outstated by the individuals from Canada. <laughs> well, we're born with them. <laughs> so let, let me see. I'll hold this while you get it. Let me see your best dovetail. The this one you're most proud of. I'm not too proud of it, but it's only my second one ever made. Okay, the mic has to be closer than that. This is only the second one I ever made. Not too proud of it yet, but still working on it. And, and, and this, and I'll ask you the same question. No experience? None. No woodworking? Had you ever used a hand plane in your life? No. no. So what was it like using that plane that first day when it was nice and sharp? I thought the experience was uh, outstanding. Um, to see it transform a piece of wood from something raw to something that looks like it came out of a machine was phenomenal. I forgot to ask, uh, did you say what branch of the service? Uh, I was in the Marines. Marines. Yes, sir. All right. And uh, do you have anything to say about Luther? That can be a Luther's, that can be said uh, Luther a definitely friendly. keeps us going in this class. Uh, it keeps us laughing and keeps us energized. And the food? Food is... I've been hearing everybody else says I was expecting here to come and lose weight, but I think I gained about 20 You were about already. a buck 90 when you showed up, weren't right you? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Anything to say to fellow veterans? I guess you already you are talking to them. Any, anybody at home you want to say hello to? Uh, I'll say hello, hello to my wife, Anka, and my three kids, Anthony, Maria, and Andrew. I do want to say thank you again to all who helped support this. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. Thank you. Keep at it. All right, let's go find another civilian. Well, looky here, we have a civilian right beside me. Happens to be a fellow New Brunswicker. Yes. Can you hold this just because you have to have it fairly close to your mouth in order for them to hear you? So, where'd you come from? Uh, Cannon Forks, New Brunswick. Originally out of Ontario. How long have you been in New Brunswick? Uh, 18 months. Yeah? Liking very, it? Very much. Great place to live. Uh, wonderful people and terrific seafood. Terrific seafood? <laughs> okay. How did you find your way here to us? Um, well, I've been, I'm retired and been looking for something to uh, fill the void. I uh, was on YouTube, um, interested in uh, woodworking, uh, taking it to the next level. Saw your YouTube channel, and more importantly, the purpose and the cause that you represented. And that struck a chord with me, and uh, as a result, uh, I signed up. You got in uh, right under the wire, didn't you? Were you yes, the one? I did. Yeah. Yes, I did. We had a, somebody, uh, a fellow that was going to be here who had a death in the family on middle of last week. Thursday. Thursday. So we only had a couple of days, and obviously nobody was going to be able to catch a flight. And Gina called Doug, and here he is. Been, he'd, been, he'd been waiting to get in, so it was wonderful. I'm going to hold that while you show you off your best dovetail. Well, the, one, the one you're most proud of. Well, that would be this one, uh, the one we were practicing on. Um, never built a dovetail before in my life. Uh, any type of woodworking has been using machines. 
uh, band saw, uh, table saw, uh, never hand tools. Uh, this is my first experience uh, building anything with a hand tool, and it really upped my game. Uh, level of precision is top, excuse the pun, drawer, top notch. Had you ever used, did you say you've never, you had never used a hand plane? Never used a hand so plane. So how was that first experience using a nice sharp plane? Absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I bought a Festool uh, sander thinking that was going to be the cat's yeah. uh, next level. And the level of smoothness and final finish using a hand plane is remarkable. Uh, it is like glass. Uh, and the precision and uh, level of effort uh, is, uh, is, is remarkable. Overall, uh, overall, feeling of the experience to date? Uh, humbling, in a word. Um, to have an opportunity to sit down with the vets, talk with them, get to know their story, eat with them, um, really makes you appreciative of what we as civilians have and what they really have fought for. Um, so this is a tremendous cause, the PHP program. Uh, anything that any civilian can do in order to help these people who have been traumatized uh, is, uh, is a responsibility of a civilian. Um, and I'm, well I'm put. grateful. Very well put. It's the responsibility of the civilians. That's right. Yeah, they do it so we don't have to. Absolutely. God bless them. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, small mention of the food. Oh. I'm a single guy. <laughs> the food here, I put on five pounds. <laughs> the food here is exemplary. That was, that was Monday. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, food is tremendous. The staff is tremendous. Uh, so caring and giving. Um, it has been all around in terms of heightened level of skill, uh, humbling, as I mentioned, being able to reach out and, and speak with these veterans and gain an appreciation as to what they had gone through puts my life in perspective. Uh, and then the food on top of that has been remarkable. And fun, one final mention of Luther. Luther, bevy of knowledge. Um, he is there when anybody asks. You hear that? Uh, he's not here. Uh, <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> he can watch it later. Uh, no, bevy of knowledge. Uh, he's remarkable. He takes the time to show you the steps and the ropes. Even when you're messing up, um, he makes sure that he gives you a recovery plan. So any civilian that has an opportunity to join this program and wants to take their woodworking skill to the next level, if you're using machine and you really want to use uh, hand tools, this is probably the best approach. Yep, I agree. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate you being here. Thank Thanks you. And for walking with me in the morning. Uh, civilian vet. Let's come down here. Another Doug. Close to the, 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 uh, the volume. Doug brought a special friend. You want to introduce him? Uh, I got Zeus down here. Come on, Zeus, get up, say hi. Say hi, everybody. Right down the camera. Okay, he's my service guard. He's uh, five years old. Lab? Uh, black lab. Black lab. Haven't heard him bark. He did a couple times. Did he? Yeah. Them because he wanted to eat. Yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell them a little. Tell them where you, what, what branch? Uh, I was in the United States Army. I did 20 years. I retired. I served both in Iraq and Afghanistan. You got the uh, end of the Gulf War. So. Family at home? Uh, I'm married. Uh, we have six kids all together. Yeah, really? Yes. I didn't know that. I'm uh, from Houston, Texas. How many girls? How many boys? Uh, Three girls, three boys. You know all the names? Uh, you, got, you got Douglas Duna, Chloe, Desiree. You got a Chloe? Chloe. Really? Uh, that's my oldest. And my wife has uh, Kristen, Kayla, and uh, I hope she don't see this because she's going to kill me. I can't remember the oldest. No. I do that all the time. Actually, I go through about five names trying to get the one I'm looking for. I didn't know you had a Chloe. Yes. All right, so let me ask you about what you're doing here. Have you got a dovetail to show? Uh, Are you still working? Still working on a dovetail. I got the 
pieces of it right here. Ready to put together? Ready to put together. How was your first, any woodworking experience coming in? Uh, I had a little bit, but mostly with power tools, power tools. but not hand working. And it totally changed the way I look at it. And it, I really do this and do it with power tools. How was using a hand plane, a sharp hand plane for the first time? It was a little, I'd say a little difficult, but once I got the motion and the flow, it went pretty good. So, I'm still learning. Calming? Yes, I, I prefer it actually plain than cut with a saw, believe yeah. it or not. So, yeah, how's the food been? Uh, the food is 100% excellent. It's going to get no better. I mean, it, it's like a five-star resort with the food. I agree. And they totally feed you too much. Yeah. <laughs> no, you eat too much. They just make it available. Anything to say to fellow vets? I, I'm just, I, like, uh, I would like to say if, if you're interested, apply. Don't give up. You don't get in the first time. It may take two, three times to get in. But keep on applying. And if you need the help, get the help. It just definitely will help you. Wonderful. Thank you, Doug. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me, Rob. It's not, we're not done. All right, let's go find another civilian. Well, look, you're right here. Sean. Now I'll get you to hold that close to your mouth so they can make sure they pick it up. Tell us, uh, let's, oh, right, Sean's, Sean's good craftsman. So let's start right off with your best dovetail. The one you just did? Yes. I finally have it. Uh, oh, look at that. Me. That's, look at that. I'm going to hold that and I want you to come in tight. This is remarkable. How many have you done before? Maybe 30. I'm going to show you the back side, pin side, end of the tails. That's, that's really nice and clean, and I would be proud to put my name on that. So now, where are you from? I currently live in Sarnia, Ontario. Ah, Canadian wannabe. Yes. But yes. Originally? I uh, originally born in Oklahoma, but I uh, have moved around a bit. I've uh, seen uh, a bit of the United States and uh, had the opportunity through my job to move up to Ontario and uh, give that a try, and it's been great. Glad to hear it. First time in New Brunswick. Yes, it is. Had you used a hand plane much prior to coming? I had attempted to. Um, I got into woodworking through various reasons, uh, but I really learned a lot from your videos, and it took me a while to learn how to do it, so I spent a lot of time. But the ability for me to now fine tune and get what I, what you're seeing here, is all because of this class. Uh, I, I was trying and I was struggling, but this class has really taken me over the edge. That's an interesting looking apparatus. How has that been? Oh, this is a game changer. It, uh, one of the, the, the things that you talk about is the shooting board and uh, I've been trying it and it just keeps hurting my hand and this little contraption here is uh, very comfortable easy to use and Really makes it uh, a dream to do to use with the shooting board for me and my All non we can, all we can hands. tell them about that is stay tuned, right? That's right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Anything to say to uh, the Family yes, I'd like to say uh, hi to uh, my wife Jennifer and to my two kids Beckham and Hadley. Hope you're having uh, hope, first off, I hope you're listening to your mom, but secondly, I hope you get into bed soon. <laughs> How's the food been? The food's been uh, fantastic. Three meals that uh, are just, just over the top. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, rinse and repeat, dessert, snacks in the middle. There's just too much food. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. And uh, how about Luther? Who's Who? that? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Luther's been great. He is, he is a little bit loud, but he, uh, he's been great. He's been a, he's been a great uh, assistant, throwing out the tips and tricks, and really helping, again, taking it over the top for me. Yeah, I agree. Good to have him. Uh, any, any, any final, we, we, this is an expensive program to run. We need, we need people to step up. Uh, can you address that for me? 
No, I mean, this, I mean it, was a, it, it was a commitment, but to me, just the, 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 the amount of information, the amount of learning, the, the precision, and the confidence that comes through this uh, is just, it's worth it. It's just great. Wonderful. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Keep at it. All right, let's find us a vet. Chris? Nice mix of walnut and pine on the floor. Are you putting glue on, Tom? What am I, what? You're not putting glue on right no, now. No, sir. Would you mind holding this and no, speaking? No, no. Tom has the distinguishing honor, distinguished honor of being our senior man. And uh, I'm, what branch of the service? Navy. Navy. I knew that. I just wanted to say it. Um, anything you want to tell them about your service? It was wonderful. Served in uh, both the explosive, yeah, explosive yeah, ordnance disposal and the SEAL teams. Uh, it was wonderful service. 32 years. Retired as a commander. Um, Who got you here? Tim Pierce. Tim Pierce. Big shout out to Tim Pierce. Big shout out to Tim Pierce. I'll see you when I get home. Yeah. <laughs> Is that because of Luther? <laughs> no, no, no. Luther's been good help. Have you got a dovetail you want to show off? No. No? Okay. <laughs> uh, Here's my best one. <laughs> that's your best one. Oh, sorry. Have a close, let's have a close look. I didn't think you were going to do that. Well, okay. Let's have a far away look. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. You're still at it. How was your, how was, had you had any woodworking experience? No. None at all. You got to hold that close just Very because little. they can't hear. Very little. Very little. So t tell me what was the first time you moved the sharp hand plane over a piece of wood. How did it feel? The first time I moved a sharp instrument over a piece of wood was the plane, and it was absolutely marvelous. Hard to describe, isn't it? It is hard. You've never, you, you would never have thought it would expected to work that way. Never. Yeah. I agree. We introduced the saw. <laughs> yeah. Which is a little more difficult. <laughs> yeah, but you're getting it. We're hey, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're working so on it. So he was having a hard time getting the cut square. We came down, spent a little bit of time, and now you're getting how many out of every 10? Probably six or eight. Six or eight, yeah. That's good. That's good. Another hour, and it'll be 10 out of 10. Uh, talk to fellow combat wounded veterans that may or may not know about the program but have yet to apply, please. The most succinct thing I can say about this program is it's the most blessed ministry I have ever seen in my life. Everybody in this place absolutely cares about your veterans, us veterans, and civilians, and the donors who support this, this marvelous remediation of, of our souls and our bodies. Uh, I, I can't say enough for it, if you, if you, if, if, even if you can't do woodwork. If you're looking for something to bring you together with a group of fellow uh, citizens and, and, and vets, please look up uh, the Purple Heart Foundation and come join us. P Purple, Heart, Purple Heart Project. Project. I think there may be others out of that same that name. I'm sorry. That's Project. all right. I, that's all right. I, I want you to address the kitchen. The kitchen is uh, cordon bleu. It's probably the best thing to say. I, I can't believe that they're feeding us like this. This is, uh, this is wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. This beats this beat sea rations? Yes, sir. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it certainly does. How many years, by the way? How many years in service? 32. 32. It's a long career. Yes, sir. And well, I've been retired a long time, too. Now you've got another one to get going. Give it a whirl. Yes, sir. And we thank you all. Believe You're you. My, From the bottom of my heart, we thank you. It's an honor and a privilege, sir, to be able to do it. Thank you. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. And don't slow down. No, no, no. Okay. Now we're going to find us another civilian. Uh, they're hiding. Oh, here's one here. Actually, I'm going to talk to Ken for a second. Ken? Ken, Ken has a unique perspective because Ken uh, has taken the class. He's helped me prepare for the classes. He's helped me in the classes. He's witnessed how many? This, all of all of last all of last year, which was six. The one in 2022, which is seven. And, and he was here for 19. Yeah, he worked. Oh, Ken's been around a long time. So 
So he's just a couple years older than me. I'm going to let him tell you from his perspective. I'm going to ask you to address both the civilian watching and also veterans. What, what's the matter? Oh, we leave? Well, okay. I don't know how much of that we lost. Does that mean we didn't get? No, we didn't. We did? Yeah. All right. So just you better say that again. So in case you missed, I just want Ken to address from someone who took the class, someone who's helped in the class, and someone who has witnessed more than 12 classes, talk to the people that might be thinking about wanting to come, and then give whatever advice you can give to, this, to the veterans who m should be here based on what you've seen a change among those who have been here. Yeah. Well, the, ch the change in people is dramatic. And don't uh, forget Jeff O'Connor. Right. How could we forget Jeff? You can't. <laughs> Every time we shave. The shave. Yeah, the shaving brush. Anyway, uh, it is dramatic. And people, especially vets who are thinking about, uh, or are timid about coming because they're worried about their skill level and all that sort of thing. Uh, you see people on the first day and they're, you know, they don't have any confidence. Uh, they're worried about how it's going to look and all that sort of thing. But once they get going and get some instruction and get at it, it uh, makes a huge difference. They gain confidence uh, and do good work. And uh, so don't worry about your skill level. Don't worry about about anything. Just get your application in, get up here, and you'll find it makes a huge difference. A word to our T-shirt crew. Oh, Angie, our T-shirt crew do, does a great job, and we'll we'll call them maybe and say hi to her tomorrow. So, Angie, thank you for all you do, you and Lynn. And Angie's been helping out all week. Where Harold's been out, so she's been helping out. Yeah. Yeah, she takes up the slack. So Harold might be able to take some time off. Yeah. Well, thank you, Angie. All right. Thank you, Ken. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interrupt him so we can talk. Chip, can I talk to Rick for just a second? Rick, I'm going to get you to hold this fairly close to your mouth so that they can hear you. Okay. <clears throat> so Rick came all the way from Hawaii, which means he still thinks it's in the middle of the night. Tough, a lot of jet lag. How many hours? Seven. Seven, hours. Seven hours. He's a pilot in his other life. But I'm going to ask you to uh, address why you came and what your experience has been these first four days. Um, I, in my, before I was a pilot, I was sort of a general carpenter doing history, history store Victorians and I did a lot of finish work and framing a sort of jack of all trades. But I never got to do fine finish work. So this has been kind of a fantasy for me for a long time. And, like a lot of people, I was watching a lot of your YouTubes during COVID, and I actually built one of your, you know, your benches. I bought your plans, and uh, I've always been really impressed with uh, the, the, the level of detail and the, the tricks and all that stuff you, you're willing to show. And then I bought some of your tools. And the quality is amazing, and uh, I had an opportunity to come out here and do this, and I decided to go for it. And I'm very happy I did. I've, uh, very steep learning curve. Um, I'm hoping I'm, I'm trying to absorb. It's, it's sort of like uh, the old saying, take, trying to take a sip from a car hose, you know. But um, yep. it, uh, the, the, the tips and the techniques from not only Rob, Luther, Chip, um, Jake has been very helpful. Everybody's got uh, little tips and little tricks along the way that you know, maybe you discover them after doing this for years, but I mean, so this is an incredible shortcut as well. You know. What's your experience with the vets been like? Have you spent any time around? Oh yeah, I uh, I fly with a lot of vets. I fly with a lot of guys that flew in Desert Storm. Uh, when I first got hired in Hawaiian, I got to fly with the last of the Vietnam uh, pilots. Uh, Hawaiian had a, a, a large concentration of uh, helicopter pilots. And 
those guys, I mean, they being on Hill House Cooper's have the wildest stories I've heard yet. But I mean, just these hair raising. Um, so uh, I've, I've, I've always admired and uh, respected the, the men and women that run towards danger, you know, and they, they go out looking for trouble. And, um, everybody else is running away from it, and they're, they're running right at it. And, uh, so it's, uh, it's it's a real pleasure to, 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 to be around here with these guys, and they're, they're so humble and so uh, uh, self-effacing about it. It's, it's really uh, it's really inspiring and very humbling. You got a dovetail to show off? Uh, well, <laughs> I'll hold that while you get. This this is my third one. The first third out of how many ever? Three. <laughs> this, so the, this is the third one you've ever done? Yeah, the first two were so bad I threw them away. Um, and this one is nothing to write home about, but it's... it's actually pretty good. Well, I've, I've, everyone is 100% better. Um, and I'm hoping that's by the, the time key. I leave here, I'm, I'm going to have something that's, uh, you know, worthy of taking home and showing to my wife and kids, you know. Speaking of which? Uh, hi, Denora. Uh, my wife, Denora, my two sons, Curtis and Connor. I uh, wish you guys could be here. I'd love to bring one of my sons to something like this. They'd love it. Um, and, uh, but I, I, I plan on going back and every opportunity I get showing them and anybody else who wants to take a crack at this sort of thing. You know? and, uh, I can't wait to get back and try it. You know, I want to sign up for some of your, your online courses and learn, you know, some small projects and stuff. The small, the blind, the blind hinges you do on those yeah. boxes. I want to learn how to Wood do hinge. that. Wood yeah. hinge, yep. So, yeah, it's been great. I, um, food? Oh, food, I'm, I'm, well, <laughs> it's, it's uh, sorely tested my resolve to uh, stick to a diet. i got to tell you, every day I eat more, you know. I started out pretty good, but it's... I've, I've been uh, your wife and the gals have pretty much worn me down <laughs> with it. It's, uh, food's fantastic. Hard to say no to it. Well, it, yeah. It's, 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 uh, yeah. It's, it's been fantastic. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. All right, as I look around and see, find another vet to speak to. It's over here. So this is Scott. Oh, I, I, I can hold that. Yeah, please hold it close. Yeah, I'll do that. Right, there you go. Scott is our, uh, our one and only Canadian vet in our class this time. Came all the way from British Columbia. What yep. branch? Uh, Army. Yep, special Forces. How many years? Uh, five. five. And you live now in? I live on Vancouver Island, B.C. With my wife and my kids, and I got two kids that nod at home. Just, just because there's a lot of noise. I got uh, four kids. And, um, they're all adults, but um, always kids. Two are two are away from home, and two are at home. Yeah, and uh, I say hi to them. Woodwork background? Not very much. No. So um, I started doing a little hobbies in the in my shop, just trying to build a few things, um, some wedding arches and things like that uh, for a hobby, and then. I knew nothing about playing, so to come to a course like this to find I was going to sharpen a, this to a mirror finish, no, never, never would have thought of that. And a, to get a plane to have a board finished beyond what a sander could do, that's blowing my mind. Like, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. How was the first, how was the experience the first time you used the sharp hand plane we gave you on Monday? You ran that over a board, what was it like? It's like butter, it's like a, sh a sharp plane. Like it, I didn't think you could get something as sharp as that. Like that's cutting the hairs on my arm. Like that's unreal. It's unreal. And after it's done, it's it, the wood's like a mirror. You could never get a piece of sandpaper to do that. That's that's incredible. It's incredible. And just even that, taking that home alone, is worth it. So yeah, I never thought that was even possible. How has the camaraderie been? Oh, this place is fantastic. Uh, it's great meeting the guys and uh, all the different branches. You know, they're all from different parts of, well, I'm the only Canadian, but all different parts of the United States and all their backgrounds. You know, meeting, uh, I think, probably friends for life here. So, you know, we're probably staying in touch. <clears throat> Got my roommate over there, Rob. It's pretty hilarious. And, uh, 
Uh, I think there's somebody behind me looking oh. for honorable mention. Him? Oh my gosh, I'm not going to mention him at all. No. <laughs> He's the oracle. The oracle. He's the oracle. Yes. Uh, we have many uh, good teachings. Um, we have we have Luther and we have Rob and you know uh, we also have Chip and Chip's done uh, a great job of teaching a lot of uh, his techniques as well and that's uh, it's been invaluable. Like in the, to get. The teachings from all three is, uh, oh, where can you ever get that? Where could you ever get that? Um, humbled by that. Speak, speak to your fellow Canadian veterans in particular. I say Canadian just because yeah. we're underrepresented. Yeah, you know, the for the program, if you want to have like a hobby that's nice and quiet and you want to do something more detailed by yourself, especially for guys that don't want to do power tools and the sounds of power tools, this is definitely something that you should consider. You know, uh, have, you know, maybe go back and watch some videos and if it interests you, definitely apply. Definitely apply. It's something that uh, could be of great benefit to you. That's all I could say. Absolutely. How did you find us? You found us through videos? I found it. You know, I was in, just starting to get interested in woodworking and just by sc scrolling through, actually, it was just by luck. And then I saw yours and I was like a hand plane. Oh, what is that? That I've always wanted to know what that is. Never even grabbed one. So and then I saw you saw you doing that, and then you were getting ready to do a dovetail. Like, What's a dovetail? I've seen it once before. I've never seen anybody do it. It's fascinating. So I just kept watching. Just kept watching, and then here I am. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. Have you got Have you got one to show off? No, I, the last one didn't turn out very well. So I'm <laughs> uh, getting ready to do the next one. I'm just finished sharpening. So. I, All right. Well, we'll accept still working on it. Yeah, we're working on it. Yeah. So. Um, food. Oh wow. That's. You're gonna gain weight by the time you leave. Yeah, the food is incredible. It's incredible. All fresh produce and food that you haven't even tried before, maybe, but. Um, there's never a, a shortage of food. It's Luther's uh, time to eat again. So yeah, it's pretty funny. Kind of like being on a cruise. Yeah, it's being like on a cruise. Uh, Luther is our dinner bell. Luther's our dinner bell. Absolutely. Uh, loud one. Another <laughs> loud one. Yes. Save the best for last. How was the hockey? The hockey is fun. Uh, I'm gonna go again tomorrow. So uh, first time playing in 14 years, so that was great. And look forward to going back again. Yeah. I think I'm hooked. Yeah, okay, I'm going to play again, no, for sure. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Rob. Thank you, Scott. Appreciate you being here. Uh, thank you. All right, I want to go over. I want to go over and talk to. Uh, I want to go talk to Chip because. Oh, actually, let, let's let's uh, let's let's start right here. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Ted Hearn. I'm from Bracebridge, Ontario, Canada. Retired. Uh, yes, I'm a retired police officer. And how did you find your way here? Well, I watched one of these live. Uh, oh, was shows it live? On, yeah, yeah, live shows on YouTube. <laughs> one night, and uh, I, I, I always wanted to know how to do dovetails and become a better woodworker. Just a little closer there. There you go. Always wanted to become a better woodworker and especially do dovetails and sharpen uh, tools. So uh, I kept watching and watching, and I think I've watched all your all your videos. And, they're very good and you teach very well. And uh, thank you. So I took the took the opportunity when I was uh, retired to come and take a try. It's so, a long way to come, but uh, it's worth the drive. How has your experience with uh, work, working around these wounded vets been? Well, it's quite an experience to uh, hear their stories and it gets kind of emotional. To tell you the truth. Yeah. So. Anyways. Anyone you want to say hello to at home? Uh, my wife Heather and my two sons Armis and Alistair. And, uh, just a few more days and I'll be home. So <laughs> we don't forget our men in blue. No, but these guys go through and they're you guys end up going through for an entire career. So no, that's fine. That's, uh, that's good. A lot of that's thanks good. to a lot of people that keep us safe. And of course, the food is spectacular here. I think he was looking Luther's for a nod. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Luther's the backbone of the whole place. Uh, but uh, it's a very good experience, and I recommend anybody to come. It's a fantastic week. It's good men here. And the food is, like I said, it's, it's unbelievable, the food you get. So. Had you have, a, had you ha have you had a favorite meal yet? The one tonight 
was pretty good. The meat was, the meat was very tender. Well, we should, we should, nobody's even mentioned Frick. That, tell them what you had tonight. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what it was? <laughs> it was uh, some kind of beef. It was smoked, fucking, smoked brisket. Smoked brisket. That he started smoking last night at 11. Yeah. And then he did his thing. And then had it tonight. Yeah. And it was a beautiful part of the country to come to. And people are friendly. And it's a great time. Worth it. Worth every cent of it. Thank you. You're Appreciate welcome. you being here, Ted. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, now I want to go down. I think we've covered everybody that wanted to speak. I think, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, are, we will. I just want to give a chance to talk to Chip. Chip, can you pull away for just a second? You didn't get a chance. Last time when, when, when Chip came to our class, he was a student. He was uh, still active duty, and he couldn't. He didn't get a chance to uh, be on camera. He couldn't. I'm just going to hand you the mic. Sure. Get out fairly close. Just kind of give him an overview. What's been going on? Well, this is uh, my second time being here. Uh, I came through the course in uh, was it October of 2018. I, think I, believe I, I, was the I could find course. you on there. Yeah. Yeah. October 2018. It's been about five years since I've been here. So it's good to be back. I appreciate the invitation. And uh, right now I'm just assisting Rob with instructing these students on how to cut dovetails. Uh, what are we on, day four now? And they're already putting dovetails together. I, you guys have probably seen some of the work. It's been really fantastic. This guy over here in the corner is knocking it out of the park. A lot of these guys are doing great jobs. And uh, yeah. What about yourself? How, how many years service? Uh, I did uh, 17 years in the Army. Yeah. Retired now? Retired now. Do you have a website? I do. It's uh, Hold on, hold on. So I just saw Chip's website the other day for the first time. Remarkable work. Excellent craftsmanship. Now tell them about it, Thank please. Thank you. Well, um, my beautiful wife and I run a business called Chip Out Woodworking. Hey, Carrie, how you doing? I miss you. Um, we live in Woodstock, Georgia, and uh, we build furniture uh, for interior and home office and interior. Um, we build tabletop items and frame displays. Um, come check me out, chipoutwoodworking.com. Uh, give me a call, shoot me an email, I'd love to talk to you. So this is another combat wounded vet business that deserves your, uh, deserves a look. I'll say it, I'll put it that way, but very good work. Excellent work. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Appreciate the help. You've been great help. Okay, we are going to, uh, is, there anyone that, is there anyone that I didn't get a chance to talk to that would like to say something? Okay, so the object of tonight was to give you a little peek into what it's like to actually be here. See the shavings on the floor. Jake, just, uh, Jake, just take a close look. A lot of good lumber laying down there in pieces. A lot of fun, great smell in the air. As he said, everyone said, great camaraderie. Uh, appreciate the sacrifice of these vets. So it's an awesome experience to get to know them on a personal level. Our staff in the kitchen, uh, my wife Kim, Jake's wife Megan, Anita, my daughter Annika, my daughter uh, Chloe, my daughter Erica, Frick, my son-in-law, other daughter, Frick, uh, my mother-in-law who just arrived tonight, hope I didn't forget anybody, and they, they come, they're here in the, and Teresa, oh yes, can't forget Teresa. Girl that is the assistant manager next door at the home hardware insists her dad was in World War II and she wants to pay back. So she's here every morning prepping for breakfast. They're here at they're here at seven in the morning and they don't leave until nine o'clock, nine, nine thirty at night. So it's amazing what they pull off and they all said the same thing. The food is beyond description. Pretty hard to go to a restaurant after you've eaten this stuff. So we're going to give away, we're going to, I don't know what our tally is yet, but we always give away three dead cat sweaters. And there's something else I'm thinking that we're forgetting. <coughs> we, we gave away the, we, we gave away the, we gave my side. So I'm going to hand the uh, mic over to the moose. How are we pulling the names up? Am I going to go over here and yell them? No, I've got it. You, you already have it? You already have the names? Yeah. Tell the talent he can have a seat. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You, you got to hold it up close over here. You. I get to sit down. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Watch and learn. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, every workshop I always like to show my appreciation uh, for the service of these uh, great people who come here and escort a, a good program. So uh, I like to provide all the uh, combat wounded veterans with a, a free uh, uh, dead cat sweater is the term. We call them a Purple Heart Project fleece. Anyway, I'll, I'll go ahead uh, and uh, you can take the, yeah, and then you can call them up. Gentlemen, give us your attention, please. Little gift from the moose. Scott. Scott, get up there. Up here. I don't know if you. Man, you're moving like a <laughs> Not an extra large, try it on. I got a double X here in case. You look a little slow on the skates, so I thought you might be a double. <laughs> Joe! There's nothing for you, Luther. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it, sir. Alex, there you go. Congratulations. Thank you very much. To my lovely wife, this is for you. Say it again. To my lovely wife, this is for you, made in uh, St. John. This, this will make you so warm, you'll think you're home in the Philippines. No, it's going to be in Washington State. Oh, it's going to be in Washington State. Thomas. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. That's beautiful. It's a good purple heart on this Thank side. You very much. That's yeah, I saw that. that. Beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Richard Gilson. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get to talk to Richard. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I didn't get to talk to you. Can I come talk to you? When, when Moose is done. Okay. Oh, good. Good. Thank you. Douglas Shreve. Did you bring one to the dog? Because <laughs> here. The dog took a thing for me. It was following me everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you see what he's doing to me. <laughs> Thank you, Doug, very much. Thank you. And enjoy that. Reuben. Reuben Jane. There you go, my friend. Thank Thanks. you very much. Appreciate it. Okay. I'm worn out tonight. <laughs> yeah. He's preparing the heat off in his room. All he needs is... <laughs> yeah, they, they do anything to motivate them here. Oh, we do. Anyway, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate the support. All right, let's... Uh, somebody will do the tally. Let's go down and talk. I know. Honestly. Richard. Thank you for being here. No. What would you like having me here. here? Are you here because of somebody? No. I, I watched a YouTube video once upon a time several years ago and it took about a year before I actually applied. Okay. So based on that, you need to speak to some, first of all, Army? Army. How many years? Uh, ten years. Ten years? Talk to your fellow soldiers who, uh, who should be here. Um, well, originally, I didn't think that... That's the surrounding okay. noise. Originally, I didn't think that I'd be accepted, that I didn't deserve to come. So it took me quite a while to put in my application to actually make it here. And once I talked to Luther, he convinced me to fill out the application and come. And within 10 days of me filling out, I was accepted. From where? I'm from North Carolina. North Carolina? Yes. 
Any woodworking experience prior to coming? Uh, I have a little bit of woodworking experience. Um, I wouldn't say a great deal. Mostly uh, pocket holes, not fine dovetails or ten horse tendons. So you, you got your first dovetails while you've been here? Yes. First time you used a hand plane? Um, it's the second time I used a hand plane. I own one, but I never figured out how to actually sharpen the blade. All right. Have you got a dovetail over there we can look at? Sure. Got several over here. Tell me, so which one you're most proud of? I think this one is my best so far. Okay, so having never cut them, and this would have been number what? Number three. Number three. Very good. And this one? This is my fourth. Fourth. And this is in, in, in walnut and pine. Yes. Wonderful. Talk to them about the food. Uh, the food is excellent. There's more than enough food to go around here. I can't even eat all the food I get. Okay. And uh, who else do we want to visit? So anyone want to say hello to at home? I would, but I know they're not watching. But be I'll, I'll, it'll be on I'll say hello to my wife, Jamie, and my four kids. Paddington, Victoria, Temperance, and Tobias. So now I'll have to pull it up for them and let them watch. Yeah. Yeah. Just make them famous. How about the camaraderie among your other your fellow veterans? Oh, it's great. Everyone gets along. Everyone has conversations about just everyday regular stuff. Um, it's kind of neat being here, not knowing anyone, but now I feel I know everyone. It's only been a couple of days. It's a nice atmosphere. It is. Hours, long enough hours? Get enough time in the shop? Um, I don't get enough sleep. There's not enough we can. midday af afternoon naps. Yeah. We've, had, we've had requests for that, but we've denied them. Well, I did take a nice nap on the couch earlier. Did you? Before dinner. That's all right. You snuck it in. Thank you for coming. All right, let's go find. Let's go find Freck. Oh wait a minute. We got to talk to. We got to talk to Luther. <laughs> Luther. Can, He's trying can, to do math. We're going to be here all night. Oh, <coughs> you want to speak, don't you? No. Well, you need to. Well, let's get one last. Can we get? We can't make it back down there to the. No, we can't. All right. Yeah, we can. We can start giving away the prizes. I don't know how many we're giving away, but let me introduce those. Oh yeah. All right. So I don't need this, do I? I just want to tell you where the prizes come from. So there are currently three, two combat wounded vets and one wife of a combat wounded vet, which makes her combat wounded. Her name is Kim, Jeff O'Connor's wife, and Kevin Burris. So Kevin's business is burriswoodworking.com, and Kevin's most famous for laser engraving on stone. And I always tell people, if you want something permanent, have them, or if there's a date and time that means something to you, have it immortalized on a piece of either granite or slate. So I've got a couple here. I, I just recently got this one from Kevin. And these are rules for successful leadership, which I thought I need, always need to be reminded of. So we'll give away those tonight. And Kevin will do up whatever it is that you want. He actually makes stands for it as well, like you see up there. Jeff does a variety of things. He makes shave bowls and brushes. I don't have anyone and with me because everybody wanted them. He also does these cleavers, both mini cleavers and full-size cleavers made with Damascus steel and handled. Um, he does uh, Irish kiss sticks. You can check out his website as well, O'ConnorWoodworking.com. And Kim, his wife, has a business called Snippets and Stitches. And would, Kim, would you grab me the, per, uh, the handbag? It's sitting on the, in that bag there. And Kim's business has just taken a big leap. She now has a retail location in a, uh, in a really interesting shop. I think it may be something about it on her website if you go on there. But Kim does, uh, has incredible craftsmanship on her own, in her own right, if I said that properly. I asked her to make a patriotic, excuse me, a patriotic hand handbag for us. So tonight, for every $1,000 we raise, we'll give away one of those prizes. 
And do we know? Yeah, shy of two. Shy of two. So we're giving away. So we're at 1,978. Somebody can kick that over the 2,000 mark. We'll give away a second prize. 197877. And uh, I'll give you a couple, I'll give you a minute or so to do it. We're going to give away three dead cat sweaters, which we always do. And then uh, we'll, give away a pri we'll give away a prize based on what's happened. So uh, actually, we're giving away three things. We're giving away one of Kim's t-shirts that she custom made. So this is, where are you, Jake? So this is uh, the RC Woodworking logo. And I guess that's me on the back. Welcome to my shop. It's the way I start every video we do. So let's give away this three dead cats. It's a lot of dead cats tonight. You ready, Frick? Yep. Okay, who's going? Who, where's, the, where's the first one going? I'm going to draw all three at the same time. You did all three at the same time? Well, it, yeah, it gives us that option now. Uh, okay, so here we go. The first winner is Craig Porter in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Craig Porter? Quarter. Quarter. In Michigan? Bloomfield, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. He second. will appreciate a dead cat. Congratulations. Whoops. Uh, I didn't add by accident. Just need to contact us about the size. Uh, second winner is Ward Wilson in Arizona. Ward in Arizona. Maybe you get a cool night. You'll like this. And the third winner is Monty Beery in Overland Park, uh, Kansas. Monty in Kansas. And you'll appreciate it as well. And where's, the, uh, where's Kim's Welcome to My Shop t-shirt going? It is going to Barry Johnson in Calgary, Alberta. Barry, are you kidding? Barry Johnson? <laughs> Barry's been a good friend of mine for a very long time. That's, that's, <laughs> that was rigged. <laughs> All right, did we make it over the two? No. 1989-64. Oh. No. Okay, so we, we hit our 2,000 mark. So let's give away two prizes. We'll do one from the, oh, this is what we'll do. We'll do one from the, the Burris home, and we'll do one from the O'Connor home. So the O'Connor home, you'll have your choice of one of Jeff's products. So we're closing it out at 2,041.96. That's an odd number, but a big, uh, I, I need to also give a shout out to Santa Claus, who's been a huge supporter of us. Actually, he's the reason why we are doing what we do, what we do. And he and his wife are in the process of doing a big fundraiser that's going to directly benefit the Purple Heart Project. We'll tell you more as, as uh, it comes closer to it, but uh, we certainly appreciate your support. Thank you very much. All right, who's this? This is Kevin one, or? This is the, we'll do the, yeah, we'll do the Kevin Burris one first. Okay, that's going to Marvin Grant in Wheatley, Ontario. Marvin? Marvin Grant in Wheatley, Ontario. Grant in, where in Ontario? Wheatley. Wheatley. Like summer? Congratulations, Marvin. And the final one is uh, the choice of an O'Connor product, whether it's Kim or, or uh, Jeff. And what is that? And that is going to... Mark Fairview in Pennsylvania. Mark Fairview in Pennsylvania. Congratulations, yep. Mark. You, uh, Gina will be in touch. Actually, I think you're supposed to contact Gina, and then she will. Yep, email's on the bottom. Support yeah, Email's on the post. bottom. Yeah. So I just want to, I just want a quick note. I hope I remembered everybody out there, all the vets that have been here as a result of vets that have been to our program that have done their job and gone out and found people that need it. And Jeff, Jeff O'Connor deserves a big shout out because uh, one of the guys out there was actually second generation. Jeff brought in one guy, he brought in this guy. So it, it has legs. So if you're one of the Combat Wounded Vets, we didn't get a chance to shout out to anybody tonight, but if you're one of the ones that's uh, been to our program, please keep your eyes open, your ears open, and let us, uh, let us help them by you making us aware of who it is and convincing them to apply. We're back in two weeks, Frick? Uh, yeah, uh, no, actually. Uh, a week from Saturday, or no, two weeks from Saturday. Let me just make sure. I'm gonna give you a quick check. Uh, no, I'm DJing that day. So, we'll let you know, but it'll be in the next two to three weeks. I have, I have us uh, on the 20th, I think Luther's <coughs> schedule says. On the 20th of May? That's correct. 
That's a long way out. Wait, no. Yeah, no, it's the 20th of May. 20th of May. Yeah, three weeks. Obviously, Frick found something else to do on a Saturday night. Anyway, see you on the 20th of May. Your next class is, uh, starts that next week. All right, appreciate your support. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you in a couple of weeks.